Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Farnt, here playing as the Ottomans. So, last episode we managed to con uh, secure both Fatah and Samarkand, which puts us one step closer to unifying Islam. Obviously, we have to make it all the way over to western Morocco, get one of the Portuguese provinces there, and also invade Spain for the rest of them. Which seeing how the game is going is quite possible. However, <laughs> at the end we had a uh, three stability loss in a row, so we're actually rather behind in stability, which is quite concerning. In fact, to the point that we have a chance of internal conflicts all firing at once. Plus, I'm blowing our military power trying to keep things stable. I mean, we are getting an absurd amount of absolutism. We're up to 45, but... Actually, one second. What does it require to get court and country? 50. You know, we'll probably trigger that this war. Oh, I can't keep paying on these things. I don't have enough at military power. This is where I could really use some support from my states, but I've been using the support so continuously, I don't have any. If I wait a little bit, we'll get a lot cheaper stability, which should work. Can't interfere there. Yep, we're going to have rebels. Well, that's marvelously convenient. Ooh, that's lucky. We got some military power out of that. Can't suppress Commonwealth. Cannot suppress Ottoman particular. Wow. Can't suppress them, though. Just need a little bit more time here to get some stability. The beater. Oh. Paper mills. Interesting. And flint, glass, and... Wait a second. Loon just got an event. Loon just got like four development for free. Huh. I'm actually going to wait here until most of my overextension ticks down. I can deal with the particularists. The rest of these guys, though, talk about a lot of them. There, we should also be triggering court and country now. There we go. We kind of want to trigger that because then I can get up to the maximum of salutism. I think without even hitting a golden age, maybe. Is that even possible with the Ottomans? Huh. Okay, let's just wait till these ones have ticked over to 100, and then we'll probably get two stability out of it. Although it doesn't help if the rebels rise up in a province I am going was waiting on to core it. There we go. No, where were you? Oh wow, you're over there and the English are intervening. Joy. Um What are the English even doing here? Okay. Airtime. Um ugh, I don't like any of these. Now, this guy's the best. But if we have a chance of getting another one, I'll happily take that. There we go. Stability. It's good. It should stop internal conflicts. Shouldn't it? Actually, it stops both of them. Hmm. It's not good. 
I wanted a little bit of rebelliousness. Well, let's keep getting more absolutism, why not? Doesn't look like those English troops can actually fight me. It looks like they're isolated. I'm impressed how well Tunis is doing. So heavily out outnumbered. They're still winning the war without my help at all. I'm a little bit concerned by my immense economic problems though. Huh. No point in wasting time trying to get a province I can't convert converted. Okay, let's see how we're doing institution wise since we seem to be stable. We already have it in Constantinople. Getting it fairly rapidly in other provinces. Constantinople is 3% of our development, though. It's amazing. Cilicia Coalition. At this point, a good portion of uh, Eastern Europe was in the coalition against me. Um, let's get Russia more loyal to me. I should be doing that more often, honestly. Keep Russia happy. Prefer not to fight the Russians. They're a bit powerful. Um, actually, let's just... No, oh, I can't threaten Ethiopia because I'm in a war. I was going to say I should just threaten Ethiopia for their province. And I still am bizarrely confused where France... Is, uh, not France. England's army is. Because we know where France's army is now. It's some for some reason in Europe again. Or was briefly. But England is proving to be completely incompetent. What's up there, British people? They don't seem to be able to uh land troops. I really wish I would ever play a game that involves naval stuff where the AI was actually is actually competent. <laughs> It'd be so strange. Someone's pirating my trade node. The Commonwealth was. Actually wait a second. Ah, that this would be a better use of that guy. We are pulling no trade south to Constantinople, so let's switch that. There we go. And that should solve all our money problems, right? Yeah, close enough. We're still not making as much as we did before. But I think that was because we were ahead of time in trade idea. Um, Diplotech. We have now hit almost 60 absolutism. Crazy. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could probably do a golden era once I get to high day. Um, what do you call it? High absolutism, and then get the 100% absolutism achievement. I haven't actually done that yet. Of course, I don't want to waste it. I want to use it at a good time. Doesn't look like we're gonna get courting country to happen.
That's fine. We don't have to care about the east anymore unless uh, I want to take more land. Huh. We can only get Russia to 81. That's slightly annoying. <laughs> this English Tunisian war is just going to drag on endlessly, isn't it? Well, if I don't have to deal with it, I'm more than happy to just take absolutism out of it. That and watch institutions spread. Cairo got it. Let's see, what is this? Shiraz got it. Greek separatism. Joy. Samarkand has it. Azerbaijan has it. Haleb has it. There we go. The Knights lost to Tunis. Tunis just humiliated the English Empire in a war. I have to say, I'm quite impressed, Tunis. Although, I don't actually know where the English Empire really is. Oh, they've got Southern South America. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Well, it's not like I have to deal with any of those. Um, and the coalition will now promptly collapse. Pretty much. Commonwealth left. What a surprise. I think I'll go beat up the Commonwealth again if I've got time. There's no particular reason not to. Hungary already have manufacturers. Impressive. They must have been pouring tons of money into internal development to do that. We're almost up to 10%. The problem is it spreads so slowly outside of places with manufacturers. Actually, let's just threaten Ethiopia for that land. Get that done. Convert it. So do we have a mission? Build plantations in Minya. Where is Minya? Plantations. Oh, I can do that. Um, plantation, plantation, plantation. There we go. By the time it's built, we'll probably already have the institution, but to free the um, production is nothing to scoff at. Oh, I'm going to have to send an army down there, aren't I? Portugal, 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 huh? I guess I can suppress rebels a bit there. Prepare for the another attack on the Commonwealth. Commonwealth and Austria. Considering we last time beat up Austria pretty badly and they lost a couple states, it doesn't look like they've regained at all. I know it's possible to beat Austria. They're not really military, militaristically inclined, although with both offensive and defensive ideas, they're going to have a lot better morale than I do. Hmm. 22. Once I get it, it probably has to be defensive ideas. If it allows me to pick it. It should. Yeah. Mm, kill Wayne Separatists. Or Kill Wan. Kill, kill Wan, I think. Kill Wan Separatists. Uh, nope, we're not going to abandon our 
wife there, but we are going to take a natural guy there. Saves me a good amount of money, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, we are using so much of our military power suppressing rebels. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Hungary is left. Who's left in the coalition? Ethiopia isn't so... I don't have a coalition against me. Okay. Oh, I probably forced Ethiopia out by threatening them now that I think about it. Huh. A little bit smarter than I thought I was there. Um, we're going to do religious... Oh my gosh, religious war. Portugal is going to enter on their side. Ay ay ay. Um, I'll let France beat them up. Hi, cat. I just had a cat land on my... Hi, feline. Yes, you're very heavy. <laughs> One downside of having a large cat is when it lands on your stomach, it's heavy. Um, yeah, I'll call Tunis to arms. Tunis, both between Tunis and France, I've got to imagine that they can. Uh... Oh, I really, they can beat up Portugal. Oops, general died. Where did you die? Did I die down here? Oh. Boy, they are making one heck of a push for uh, independence. Hopefully they're not dumb enough to go attack my army. I would, in some ways, I'd feel kind of bad that they're that dumb if they attacked me. Oops, here's Austria's armies. Uh, they actually don't have so overwhelming... Um, too much more morale than I do. They do, to some degree, but that's also... I've got a advisor and defender of the faith, which is certainly helping. Definitely have to invade Austria itself. Austria proper. Oh, and Bohemia, of course. Or modern day, what is it? Czechia now? Modern day Czechia. We're going to invade modern day Czechia, I guess. Uh, free stability, that's nice. Well, Poland sees this. Oh, sorry, the Commonwealth sees this as their last, last gasp, and they're pulling out all the stops raising armies. Wow. Can hardly blame them. don't think I can take their full country. I can take about half, though. Which I think is re relatively fair. Let's see. Portugal is fighting France and surprisingly winning. Hmm. Oh, I really want Ifni over here. I gotta make sure I never give that to Tunis. I really don't want to have to fight my own ally over something as small as that. Specifically because then I'd have to take Tuni 
Tunisian lands, which are going to be the Berber tradition, so harder to core. I will happily avoid ever getting involved in that mess. Oh, Poland did get one of my forts. So France is like 50 something thousand troops up there. So why aren't they winning this war? <laughs> we actually almost have enough money to get this, uh, this institution. It's kind of amazing. Speaking of which, how much development are we at? Over 3,000 development, wow. It's easy times. I may have to go beat up those Austrian armies at some point. So in terms of rebels, how are we doing? We've actually suppressed all of those quite easily. Um, yeah, might as well get even further ahead. Considering we're going to be using up a lot of admin power and cores soon. Oh, another siege we lost. The yeah, AI is in a particular mood to siege my provinces, aren't they? I guess it makes sense. They can't actually fight my military, so. Although I'd really like it if France, with the massively overwhelming army, could actually fight Portugal. Where's France's army scurried off to now? French have it in a navy. So where are they taking their navy to? They're moving it back to the New World. I guess it makes... No, it doesn't make any sense at all. Why are they sending their army to the New World when the most of the fight is in the Old World? I don't know. Yeah, you're working on outraged countries. I don't particularly care. Let's wipe out Silesia's army. Prague has fallen. Right now I'm pretty well and pretty much just ignoring the Austrians. Sieging my lands. Because I can't imagine they're going to want to stay in the war once I start taking uh, Vienna and stuff. Once they lose their gold mine, their capital, and the siege still continues. Oh, I can already force them out. Um, really like them to return Berlin to the Brandenburg. Hmm, how do I persuade them of that? Especially when I keep losing provinces. I'm impressed their uh, war enthusiasm is still as strong as it is. Oh, 
not even lose any troops. They just lost their whole thousand troops. It may, makes sense. Hostile sieges. Oh, I don't want to lose any of those if I can help it. Speaking of things, how's... I'm trying to figure out how Portugal is winning versus France, but they are. Well, if we peace out Austria, that's 95% of the combat strength in this war, so... Should be a lot easier then. There we go. That should be enough for Austria. Ooh. Or if I wait a little bit, I could force them to release. Uh, I'd rather have them actually release Bohemia than I think about it. On the other hand, returning land to Brandenburg. Ugh. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's at least get a tech uh, institution out of it. Oh, apparently Brandenburg just lost their core on Berlin. Okay. Huh. Now all of a sudden we're losing sieges left and right. Okay, time to return to the east and re-siege provinces, I guess. I just hope France doesn't get so destroyed that they surrender land. Especially considering how close we are to winning this. Oh, splendor idea. Um, admin efficiency, of course. That will help a lot. Now if I could just take these Austrian forts. Some pretty nice force defense. But it is nicer siege ability. Oh, yay, yay. The Commonwealth, so good at sieging my provinces. Oh, yeah, yeah. The thing is, these forts are so easily retakeable. Level 1 forts don't last long. At least I think these are level 1s, yeah. There we go. That should be enough to get Austria at us. While forcing them to release... Bohemia for sure. And give me a thousand gold. That'll almost definitely put Austria into debt. It also gets rid of like 50 development from them. She's really nice. Where are you going? Wait till they've locked in, and there we go. I like the mechanic that now they're locked in, it's so much easier to destroy armies when they can't just endlessly run away from you. Unless Russia's involved in this. Russia isn't very happy with me. Portugal, 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 Portugal. Portugal, 
Portugal doesn't think they should lose anything yet. Hmm. This is the forts I lost, I'm retaking, but... Commonwealth's proving a little bit more annoying to kill than I thought it would. Barely keeping Russia as an ally. I think I'll just keep this video going just until this war is over, because I can't imagine it's going to go much longer. Although I could be terribly wrong. Once Portugal's capital falls, they should definitely want peace. And once they want peace, then uh, the Commonwealth's already overrun. Again with the separatists down here. You'd think they'd have gained their independence already. Oh, they have. Fair enough, I guess. I just hope the Portuguese army doesn't actually uh, leave their random posting there and go save their capital. It'd be a little annoying if they somehow stop the siege of that. Oh! Apparently the Commonwealth's also been really busy over here. There we go. That should strengthen enough of my defenses. Oh, come on, Portugal capital, just fall already. they, for some reason, decide to just up and march their troops away from the Portuguese capital, I'll be right annoyed. Oy, oy, oy. Come on, it's not rocket science. I'm amazed how good the Commonwealth is at sieging. Offensive ideas, I guess. There we go. That should be it for Portugal. I'll give one province to Tunis. And then really do some damage to the Commonwealth. Let's return as many cores as possible to Lithuania. Actually, that might be all I do. <laughs> yep, that's going to literally be all I do is return that land to Lithuania. Okay, well... Lithuania is now a powerhouse and is now disloyal. Well, you know what time that is. It's now time to annex Lithuania then. Or make them a march. Annex them. I think I'll annex them. 
going to take forever. <laughs> it's going to take 43 years. You know. Yeah, 43 years to annex them. Um, actually, if I switch to you, that'll go a little bit faster. Okay, well, that will be it for this episode. Big defeat for the Commonwealth. A little bit of problem now with Lithuania. Um, but I'm sure I'll be able to deal with it in the long run. Uh, Portugal is now no longer Defender of the Faith, because that was a bit weird. Commonwealth is weakened. Austria is even further weakened. We're still one over our... Diplo power limit, but overall we're doing well. I don't know where we're going to go next. Uh, let's see, what are we facing potentially? We're still facing a rather large coalition, so we'll see what happens then. But anyway, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.